Hello everybody, Joe here with Garden of Luma. As you can see, I'm at Tikal Sapodilla here in the background. The other day I was having a stressful day and I just came out to the backyard to de-stress and I like to do a walk around the yard and just check out each individual tree and what's going on with them, as I'm sure a lot of you guys like to do. And so I came out here and I was looking at this Tikal Sapodilla here. Looking really beautiful here, putting out a lot of new growth. And if I can get back down in here, you can see that there is a sapodilla fruit there. So I'm really excited about that. This tree fruited last year, had one fruit on it up top here. And it has at least one now, which I was surprised to see because I didn't think this thing had fruited at all. This spring, I had been out here trying to hand pollinate this guy along with my Silas Woods. And I've been checking it out, didn't see anything. And now finally here in September, I noticed that first fruit set. So I'm really excited about that. I wasn't sure if it was going to put any fruit on this year, but... Thankfully, I have at least one on it. And it's been flowering again right now. It tends to flower twice a year in the spring and then late summer, early fall. And so I will get this guy through the winter time and hopefully have a fruit next spring, early summer. And here is my Silas Wood Sapodilla just to compare the two here. And these trees just look amazing coming out of our scorching summer that we had here in the desert. Just really green, really lush, and just putting out new growth. The Silas Woods here, you can see flowers on it. I haven't noticed any fruit on it. This has not fruited yet. I'm hopeful I can at least get one on it this year. But this has been flowering all summer long. For the first time usually it only flowered in the spring and that was it but now it's flowering year round so hopefully it's getting close to starting to at least fruit well my tikal was purchased as a three gallon starter tree back in 2016 and this i got from logies on a mail order in the fall and it was just a tiny maybe foot tall starter plant and it's grown really well I have it in a container here, as you can see. Check me out at GardenOfLuma.com for more tips on gardening and growing fruit trees, especially in hot, dry climates.